Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So it's been a long and finally we have got the newest Android 14 ROM for our Poco F1. Again this ROM is something new, initial build and got some new and amazing features. Introducing the rising OS of version 2.1 and without any further ado, let's see how to install this one. the very first time let's see on which ROM we are running this phone so now going into the settings you will see that we are running on the cherry OS, which is also Android 14 build and we made a video and also a review video on this ROM you can check this on my youtube channel so right now this is a ROM we are running on and now let's move to the telegram channel and this is a telegram channel named as Poco F1 updates link to this has been mentioned in the description so once you land on this channel you will see this notification which is of rising os mentioning of version 2.1 and they have all the links of the screenshots the rom and all the other stuff so you just have to simply click on the first link that is the core gaps one and you will land on a chrome page which will be a source forge directory and you just have to click on try to download anyway once you click on it you will be able to see that your file is getting downloaded in my case, I am not doing that because I have already downloaded this file. So I am just clicking on cancel and now once you see that your files will get downloaded into the folder. So this is that file and just have to store it in the favorite place like any of your directory or folder. In my case, all the files are stored in the downloads folder. And also this prerequisite files that is DFE and also the firmware. These are pretty to sit and needs to be flashed. So let's go back and boot our phone to the recovery and let's just start flashing these files one by one and see our ROM boot. So just go to the recovery by booting into the TWRP. Make sure that you are running on this TWRP recovery which is of range of 73.7. Once you do this you just have to click on wipe and wipe all the partitions such as the Dalby, Cache, System, Vendor, Data and also the System.exe as this is a System.exe supported partition. Once you do this, just wipe to wipe. So this is done and now you just have to go back and click on the install button. Once you do this, you have to select two files from this folder which is the prerequisite files. So once you enter that folder, just select the first file that is that is the firmware once you select that click on add more zips and now select the rom.zip file so this is the file you just have to click on it and now just have to swipe to confirm flash once you do this the very first sequence that is the firmware will get flash and after that your rom.zip file will be installed just to tell you guys that the rom file will take about 5 to 10 minutes to get it flashed successfully you just have to wait until then or else you might lose or your device might get break so over here you will see that everything has been flashed successfully the rom.zip the firmware and everything looks perfectly fine in that case you can just go back and again land on the prerequisite folder and now select dfe which is the disabled force encryption and you just have to swipe and it will get flashed in some 2 seconds so that's done and we have flashed all the files you just have to now click on reboot and reboot your device to system once you click on it you will see the POCO logo or the POCO animation and now your ROM will start its booting also one more thing guys the process of getting your phone rebooted once you install the ROM will take about 2 to 5 minutes approx. Till then, just keep your phone aside and wait to get it installed and don't click any of the buttons. So, boom, our phone has been rebooted and this is the welcome screen which you usually get with all the ROMs. With that said, we can see that our ROM has been flashed successfully and we did the installation properly. So, this is how let me set up my device and let's meet to the next part so over here i have just set up my device and everything has been done 
and you can see that the welcome message from the community that welcome to rising os and everything else so let's have a first look and see what all things are included in this rom and see how it is different from other roms clicking on the settings you will see this personalized panel where you will get everything regarding personalizations though they haven't keep any fancy names like rising personalizations or anything such they have just keep quite simple names and that is something very nice they also includes what's new section where they will include everything about the change logs and initial builds and what all things they have included and that is very much nice in my opinion so that's all about the information which they include after going back you will see that they hold this option of themes and also this photo animation which they have on top of each of the settings and that is very nice to be honest at first look they have kept in mind that the ui must be appealing and also the ux must be in a way that user will feel it quite user friendly so that is something very impressive being an initial build they have multiple checks on that how they will keep the ui little bit cozy and simplistic for the user yet appealing for appearance and also they have all the options which you can ever need and also they have this island notification which is nothing but dynamic island which you get in ios devices and that is something completely new i have seen in any android 14 phones all the other settings i can see that they have included and everything seems to be working fine scrolling below you will again get this floaty animation about all the settings i just said about storage and everything else so in my opinion this rom seems pretty much good and it also has all the options which you ever need and also some new options which you will see the first time in this rom if you click on the android 14 version you will see that you will have the latest security patch and also it's running pretty much fine also the haptics is pretty much interesting in this rom so if you want a full review of this rom then just mention down in the comment section and i will make a complete review of this rom in detail including the game performance the battery and so and everything else so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates at the Until then see you guys again in the next one and till then peace out